how to set up and use anyomi on android if you want to know about anyomi app you can go to anyomi.org for more information so after the installation let's launch it for the first time Firstly, you'll get this welcome screen here. I have put my phone in landscape mode for the ease of this video. You can select your desired theme here. I'm going to put it to system theme and tap on next. And we're going to select one dedicated folder to store the Anyomi files. So tap and select folder. Anyomi app itself creates one new folder that is Anyomi downloads and tap on use this folder. Allow. We can skip the storage guide. Tap on next. Also, you can allow this install app permission if it's not been allowed. I have already allowed this permission. If it's not already allowed in your case, you can just tap on the stick button and allow the installation of apps from this Anyomi app. Tap on next now and we're gonna tap on get started. Once it's done, we're gonna need the knowledge of extension repositories. Go to more option, scroll down, we're gonna go to settings, scroll down once again, tap on browse and we're gonna find the Anyomi extension repos and manga extension repos. Now, I totally do not endorse adding the repos from any external or third party sources but just for the demonstration purpose, I'm gonna show you by adding the third party repositories here. To find the extension repos, we're gonna go to browser on your phone and just do a google search for otaku Anyomi extensions. Click on the first link from otaku, this one, Mihon Anyomi and Tantosu extension repos. Scroll down, we have the extension repository for anime and manga. Let's add the manga extension repos firstly. We have the auto install option. Before you automate Automatically add the repos, we're gonna go back to the app that is Anyomi. To add the manga extension repos, you're gonna make sure that you are inside the manga extension repos adding page just like this here. Keep this app just like this, go back and now we're gonna use the auto option. Let's install this KUC extension, tap on install. It's been already added. Now go back and now we're gonna add the anime extension repos. Keep this page just like this here. Go back to browser. Now we can add the anime. Tap on auto install for any anime repository. Let's do the first one. And it's been added. Once it's been added, we can go to browse and you're gonna find the manga extensions and anime extensions here. Let's go to manga extensions. Install any extension from here. Let's do this one. Install. Once it's been installed, we're gonna go up and trust this install source. This one, trust. And same goes for anime extensions. You're gonna find the extension, install, and then trust. Trust. Once you do this, you can go to anime sources or manga sources and explore the desired content. Now we're gonna go to more option here and configure some settings. If you go to settings here, we can tweak the appearance of this app here. Also, we can make our own library for the anime and manga. We can configure the player. You can even use external player and enable the PIP mode, etc. So that's all about the Anyomi app guide. I have covered most important points. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe my channel.